Good morning students we are going to start the chapter the revolt of 1857 the first war of independence in uh, for the history section so here but why this 1857 year has been taken so many thing happened in 1857 okay before that british started to rule over india they started to interfere in the political matters of india but firstly they entered india for the trade purpose yes let's start why this 1857 year is very much important for us now by the sorry yes by the first half of the 19th century the east india company had brought major portion of india under its control 100 years after the battle of palasi anger against the injustice and the oppressive british government took the form of the revolt that shook that very foundation of the british rule in india so after the battle of palasi after the battle of palasi they started the injustice and oppressive british government took uh, oppressive policies which were used by the britishers were were uh, started taking a form of revolt okay they started they wanted uh, they wanted to now the indians wanted they were uh, able to understand that they the, whatever the british are doing this is a injustice injustice for them okay so it was not like that students that earlier also the revolts were not there revolts were they there beta but it were um, uh, in different locality or the different areas it were not uh, they were, it was not combined together okay so it was like that uh, the revolt against the british, uh, british dominations were there in india but this rebellions or the revolts were local and scattered and isolated clear that's why they never gave any type of tough uh, challenge to the british rule but what had happened this did, uh, this uh, and whatever the revolts uh, had had been this did not pose a serious challenge to the british okay nonetheless this revolt established a local tradition of the struggle against the foreigner no new methods were there the local way of local way of uh, revolts were there but in the first war of independence in this the millions of peasants artisans and the soldiers participated it shook the british government in its foundation is it clear so here what was it okay while british historian call it as a sepoy mutiny mutiny what is a sepoy sepoy here the british is used to call a uh, soldiers a sepoy sepahi a sepoy okay the sepoy mutiny mutiny indian history named this revolt as a 1857 or the first war of independence so what were the reason for this revolt many reasons were there bachche okay so we are going to have this one of the one of the britishers had annexed most of the indian territories they wanted to increase their wealth okay the britishers increased their annexed their means joined uh, brought that area into their own control because of the wealth as a result they introduced many oppressive land revenue policies many re revenues policies were there among them better there was a enam commission in this enam commission those who were not having the land deeds the lands were taken okay resulted in the miserable condition of the farmer in many cases farmers were forced to part with their land they have to leave their land and to, they have to move hence they broke out into rebellion so this was the reason for the farmer there were several prisons 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 uprising in the middle uh, mid of the 19th century the most important of which were those by the moful prisons of the malabar region of the modern kerala and a farar fararais paraisi movement by the muslim peasant in the bengal the sanyasi rebellion in the north bengal and the chuna rebellion in bihar and bengal broke out in the late 18th century so many revolts were there from the basic means from the down from the very lowest means from the peasants to the farmers peasants were who beta they were those who were not having their own lands this is the differences between the farmer and the peasants peasants they were not having their having they are not having their own land and farmers they are having their land peasant used to cultivate in their in the land of others now second was the tribal revolt the first half of the 19th century witnessed a number of the tribal revolts the bill the bill the bills of madhya pradesh the santhals of bihar and bengal and the kunds and kunds of the odisha rebel against the british the british has forcefully 
taken over large tracts of land belonging to the tribes for growing the crop, uh, cash crops. It was not like that ki they disturbed. They disturbed British earlier when they were ruling. But when British started to enter in their areas, in their lands, the tribe in which the tribe uh, were having their cultivation, they were um, they started to rebel against the British. The Santhal rebel was revolt against the corrupt money lender lending practice. Then the Jamidari system in the tribe belt of the Bengal presidency that includes Bihar. The main, the main leader was Sidhu, Sudh, Sidhu and Kanu Murbu. Tough, poorly, uh, though poorly equi uh, equipped, means they were not having the equipment for the fight for the war, uh, for the rebel rebellion but put up a brave fight with the british with their courage and determination the revolt was finally brutally crushed the two leaders sudhu and kanu was war killed the british destroyed santhal settlement and killed many santhal's people the revolt of the 1857 the first expression of organized resistance was the revolt of 1857 it began as a revolt of cause lay deeply embedded in the grievance that all section of the Indian society society nurtured against the British rule. So here the revolt, the causes of the revolts are divided into different way. First, first is in the political causes, causes. First is the political causes, then comes the social and religious causes, economic causes, military causes, and and the uh, immediate causes so before starting the causes we are going to see that we are going to deal with the immediate causes what was the immediate cause for the war of 1857 okay the immediate cause of this 1857 immediate cause was the immediate cause was the introduce of the infield rifle okay Bache, it was a introductions of the infield rifle now the question ar arise what was the introduction of the infield rifle so listen in 1856 okay the british authorities decided to replace the old musk old-fashioned musket okay musket is a type of double barrel uh, uh, a rifle okay it's a type of rifle so they wanted to change the old musket uh, fashion musket by the new infield rifle they wanted to change that into a new way of the infill rifle. The loading process of the infill rifle involved bringing the cartridge. Cartridge is a uh, cartridge is a uh, 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 the what we used to put. It's a cartridge is a cartridge to the mouth and biting off a top grease paper with the teeth. Okay, so here the uh, the way of loading of that infill rifle that the cartridge you have to put first you have to bite it. Uh, first cartridge to the mouth and bite off the top grease paper it was there the grease paper was there you have to bite it and remove that grease paper okay so in a uh, january 1857 there was a rumor in the bengal regiment in the bengal soldiers that the grease cartridge had a fat of cow and pig so there was a rumor okay it was a rumor okay Okay, there was a rumor that this paper, what we have to bite with the mouth, is a um, made of the uh, fat of cow and pig. The sepoys were convinced that the introduction was of grease, grease cartridge was a deliberate move to defile Hindu and Muslim. Okay, so defile a uh, year, it was there to defile Hindu and Muslim means it wanted it was there to harm the religious beliefs of the Hindu and Muslim because cow was sacred to the hindu and the pig was taboo for the muslim so both students hindu and muslims soldier refused to use this cartridge and stagged and uprise when they were forced to use them okay is it clear so this was the reason the immediate cause of the immediate cause of the 1857 the first war of independence thank you